Motse presented his manifesto 15 days before the CAF elective Congress. His attempt to assume the most powerful seat in African football has gained momentum. When parties came to my mind, I'm feeling very, 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 very excited. And that's the excitement of everybody in Nigeria. That's the excitement in everybody in the West African coast. With CAF in an estimated $80 million deficit, his global business involvement and success seems to be the leading influence of his ascendancy to the top position. One of the plans that we're going to come with is to look at some of the countries where, as part of the infrastructure development, we can make them part of a commercially sustainable and profitable partnership. PSL chairman Ivan Koza, who also endorsed the nomination of Mutsipe, urged him to create a product to lift the profile of CAF competitions. Add more prize money. Add more prize money for the Africa Cup of Nations as well, the FCON Cup. Uh, so, so we will restructure these in the next two years, both the Africa Cup of Nations as well as the, the Champions League. Those who support Mutsipe challenged him to transform African football. This will include statutory reforms and building stronger partnerships with FIFA and other continental governing bodies. Some of the pressing matters in his 10-point action plan include investment in the development and growth of youth and women's football. He also described the refereeing as a cornerstone of football and said its integrity and professionalism needed to be protected while the VAR needed to be implemented immediately. Lebang Tube, SBC News, Johannesburg. Okay.